Uh, hello, uh, I am Hrvo from Zagreb and I am a member of OpenStreetMap Croatia community. Closer. So, here. Uh, he hears it okay. Uh, so I'm Hrvoje from Croatia, from Zagreb, a uh, member of OpenStreetMap community for Croatia, member of Croatian Linux uh, user group, and uh, for a year now, member of OpenStreetMap Foundation. Uh, I'm here to talk about volunteer geographic information and OpenStreetMap. Uh, well, with, development, with the development of modern technologies like uh, cheap GPS devices, uh, chips and stuff like that, uh, with high quality digital cameras uh, and uh, mobile phones, uh, we have an all-in-one device that, can uh, that, uh, that we can use uh, to collect uh, geographic uh, geographical information. And of course, uh, with the development of, uh, development of mo mobile broadband, uh, you can do it uh, uh, instantaneously. Well, examples, there are Wikimapia, OpenStreetMap, uh, Google Map Maker, uh, Nokia Maps Maker, and stuff like that, uh, all in the effort to, uh, of gathering information to create better maps. Well, uh, one of my first uh, volunteers you can say it volunteered, uh, VGI, let's shorten it, uh, project was uh, part participation in Panoramia, Panoramio. Uh, I guess a lot of you know about Panoramio, Google service, you take po uh, photos, upload them, and they, they appear on the position. So from that, you can collect geographical information about that position. Uh, is there a road, is there a house, and stuff like that. Uh, and it's... Uh, Hmm. Part of Google services, so it's uh, restricted. Uh, its use is restricted. Uh, it's visible in uh, browsers and Google and Google Earth. But uh, ah, it looks like this. This is the part what, uh, of my grandmother's village. I took some pictures of. Uh, well, there is an open source, crowdsourced alternative, uh, Mapillary. They started uh, in January this year, and in May they had about 500,000 pictures. In June, they had a million pictures, and now they're at uh, three and a quarter million pictures. So they grow, they, their, exponential is, uh, their growth is exponential. Uh, uh, when, did it, did it, when did it start to grow exponentially? Uh, when they changed the license to, uh, uh, to the CC by by SA license, then the OpenStreetMap community said, okay, your license allow, allows us to use those photos for our purposes, we'll start mapping. Uh, and uh, I started also, used my old phone, uh, put a CyanogenMod mode on it so I can use it because uh, they need Android uh, 4 point something. And I routed it, uh, uh, flashed it, and it started working nice. In, and in one weekend, I traveled 700 kilometers and collected uh, 17 gigabytes of photos. It's about 20,000 photos. Uploaded it, and uh, you can see the, the the regions. You can use the pictures for for, for free and uh, and freely. Uh, so, I, I, as I mentioned, uh, the growth was exponential because of the OpenStreetMappers, and they participate in OpenStreetMap movement because they have an, uh, direct uh, options to edit the data from their web page. Uh, what I wanted uh, to say. Uh, the nice thing is that, uh, that they have algorithms to match the photos. So when you uh, travel a few times uh, the same route, they match the, the photos so you have a wider area to see. Uh, once you, you go with the camera straight, second with the camera to the right, third with the camera to the left, and then when you zoom out, you, you have something like, pan, uh, like panorama view. It's not uh, Google Street View where you have a free, free, uh, 360 degrees, but it's moving along and it's uh, free. Uh, this is the map of Novi Sad. Uh, as you can see, there are few routes, uh, mostly uh, from me and Miloš. Uh, you place it. Uh, you can do. You can do it in f in few modes. You can use it on a bike. You can use it by hands, and you, you, or you can use it uh, in a car. Uh, there, uh, here is uh, uh, Novi Sad University campus. I did that uh, 
by walking, and the rest is uh, done by uh, sticking a cell phone on, uh, how do you call it? Uh, that suck up cup when you place a phone in it. Uh, I forgot the, the eh, G <laughs> phone holder on the, on the windshield. Start record, set it uh, to one second or two sec seconds interval, and take pictures and drive. Uh, this is what I, what I said. Uh, there are a few center photos, one uh, photo to the right and one photo to the left. And when you zoom out, you have something like panorama. And when you have more photos, you have a more of a panorama and it's free to use. Uh, the other stuff uh, where you can uh, get, gather volunteered information is social networks, Foursquare, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, etc., etc. et cetera. Uh, why location sharing? Uh, people visit some places and tag, I was here with uh, them and take a picture. Later, you can proce process those pictures and get information, information about those locations from those photos. Uh, so you, you tag location and you tag photo and there's an information. Uh, I'm talking here about uh, volunteered information. That, that uh, the stuff that NSA and Google and uh, other uh, people do uh, gather uh, information without your permission, that's other stuff. This is freely, uh, freely submitted information. Uh, there's also, uh, there was also talk about uh, automatic parsing of uh, location-based co based content. Uh, when you hashtag something on Twitter and send a photo, and also photo is geotagged, you can process all the, uh, all the hashtags and gather all the photos, all the location info, and uh, uh, create uh, hotspots and uh, stuff like that to know what's going on. And the negative side, as you can see, uh, this is photo from, uh, from somewhere in Africa uh, where they begged people not to uh, geotag their photos because of the poachers. Uh, you take a photo, it's geotagged, somebody, you upload it on the net, somebody who is interested in black rhino and uh, elephants and something like that, they know where, uh, where the photos were taken, where uh, the migra migration uh, paths of the animals, which are in danger, and they come and shoot them. So that's the negative side of, of uh, th this is one of the negative sides, but, but I have this picture, so I use it. Uh, there's another principle, uh, there's another uh, stuff you can do. Uh, this is uh, Suhozid, uh, translated uh, stone drywall. Uh, this is a project from my colleague in uh, University of Zagreb. Uh, they use it uh, to collect all the data about old uh, walls, old buildings, uh, anything that is done with stone drywall. Uh, and it looks like this. You can collect the data, you can submit the data and get the information about uh, cultural her heritage uh, with uh, old stone mason techniques. And you can also uh, apply pictures and stuff like that. Uh, okay, this is uh, part of uh, uh, presentation. Uh, there in Zagreb, there is a portal called uh, My Zagreb, Ility Moj Zagreb. Uh, it is, uh, how do you call it? Public services uh, created it, so they can gather information about uh, where are the holes on, on the roads, uh, where is the uh, broken fire hydrant, uh, anything like that. But there was a discussion on the net b uh, about the price of the project and the uh, techniques used on it. It was uh, closed source and used uh, um, C.net or something like that. But uh, it also requires uh, uh, registra registration that is necessary, and uh, there are public services that uh, reply on those uh, reports. So you, you, re you report there is a hole in, in the road, public service road maintenance, they go, check it out, fill it up, and report it as uh, fixed. Uh, in what time? I don't know. They are not so uh, uh, fast. Uh, and it looks like this, <laughs> not so uh, pretty sight. Uh, also, there is an open source alternative that uses uh, Ushahidi deployment. It uses anonymous reports uh, and it implements implement open 311 standard. 
I heard about it. I didn't explore uh, so much about it. But uh, public services are not uh, obligated to report to those reports. And this is how the site looks. You can click, report. They have a complete copy of my Ulica Street, uh, my Ulica, uh, but there is, uh, for now, there is no cooperation, as far as I know. Uh, there is also Fix My Street project and uh, organization. Test my, uh, I mean, uh, organization is my society. I met a guy in Zagreb uh, who is part of the team, and he talked uh, about that. Uh, it's a similar pr uh, principle. You report uh, something that is wrong in your neighborhood, in your, in your street, and you get people to, re uh, to react. Uh, there is also one other, uh, one of the other things is uh, green cleanup, ili zelena čistka. Uh, it was a part of World Cleanup 2013 effort, where you uh, uh, went out and searched for illegal uh, garbage dumps. So you have a map, you have a, uh, types of uh, garbage disposals, uh, and you report everything that is that you find. You find a tire in the woods, you report it. You find a, a place where a garbage trump, a garbage truck illegally dumped uh, its waste, you report that. So, in the effort there, as you can see, in, as you can see in the background, there are a lot of reports. Uh, I can't find I can't find this site anymore. Uh, I think they switched. Uh, they or maybe I didn't try too much, but maybe they switched it, uh, or if or it or it was offline when, when I looked for it. But it was uh, in two uh, 2013. But it it used is uh, it made its purpose. Uh, huh, this is a nice stuff. A uh, colleague of mine started a project. Uh, record the camera, Ili. Uh, there, there is a growing number of security surveillance camera, uh, traffic cameras and stuff like that, but there is no database to collect them all. So he, get, he, he came to the idea, let's take all the photos of all the cameras. And he started, uh, the, I don't have a web uh, a screenshot because I didn't have time to, uh, to contact him to, uh, to send me the link, but because it was, uh, uh, st uh, it was a project in startup. But uh, he got a lot of cameras on the record, and if they are recording us, so let's record them. Uh, if I'll try to get more information for the later, uh, for the later times, but it's uh, a nice effort. Let's return the measure. Uh, let's return uh, with the same measure. Uh, one of the main things uh, VGI is good for is humanitarian response. Uh, maybe I don't know. If, uh, most of you know about the floods that happened in uh, Southeast Europe uh, this May. It was uh, in Serbia, Bosnia, Croatia, and it was uh, large. Uh, there were few platforms. Uh, people in uh, Serbia uh, created uh, Ushahidi deployment uh, for reacting. Uh, there was no organized uh, pro <laughs> there was no organized effort from the government in either countries uh, to inform the people to organize people. So it was all up to them. Uh, in, in Serbia, they created Poplava RS with Ushahidi deployment for reporting and, for in, in, uh, and with Word, WordPress for uh, other stuff. Uh, they had, uh, this is summary, they had uh, almost 3,000 reports. Uh, they had uh, 1.5 million visitors in one month and simultaneously uh, 1,600 uh, 1, visitors on the site. Uh, the guys in Bosnia created Mape Poplava, uh, also on Ushahidi, and they had uh, uh, 200, uh, 280 reports in the first few days. Uh, I, I got the uh, database dump from, uh, the, those go, uh, from the both sides, uh, but uh, people from Serbia kept updating me with new b database dumps so I could get all the data, but 
people in Bosnia, they were more busy, so I got only the first uh, dump, nothing else. Uh, also, there was Poplave EU deployment for, I think it was also for Bosnia, but they tried to gather all the region. And in Croatia, I tried to, de uh, I tried to deploy Oshahidi, but they didn't want it, they didn't want it, they didn't know how to, it was too much for them, so they only did WordPress. Ah, never mind. They did, uh, they did something. Uh, what, what was uh, the information gathering methods? Uh, social networks, uh, as I said, uh, there were Twitter, Facebook, Google+, stuff like that, where people reported they are, they are my, my grandparents are uh, trapped in, uh, in this city, in this uh, street, in this build building, somebody helped them, and there was a lot of them. And also, radio amateurs, uh, there we have uh, one participant of the efforts. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, I'll talk to you later uh, in front of everybody so you can fill, it, fill in the gaps. Uh, so there were Ushahidi portals uh, for both uh, countries and there was local knowledge for people there, and they know the area. Uh, this is the version of uh, Serbian deployment. Uh, okay, I took a screenshot in, uh, in the period they were migrating from the servers and the guy who, who deployed it uh, set up it OpenStreetMap, but the, the guy who did the migration didn't know how to set up OpenStreetMap, so he set up Google. I took a screenshot in that moment and they came back, they switched uh, forth and back, and uh, mainly it was on OpenStreetMap. Uh, background so the people can, can uh, edit and report the locations. Uh, this is how it looks. Uh, I, I followed the portal uh, those uh, weeks, and it was uh, a little scary to see people report, uh, my grandparents are in the attic uh, of that uh, building, there are infants here, and stuff like that. So it was sad to see. Uh, this was uh, Bosnian deployment. These are uh, those uh, 280 reports, uh, and stuff like this. This is also information. You see it's flooded, you see dead animals. These are, these are some of informations that were gathered on those portals. Uh, after the initial floods, a few weeks after that, the, uh, after it settled, uh, we got, I used those database dumps, filtered the reports, and this is a heat map of the reports where there are floods, where, where there are uh, uh, damaged roads, uh, buildings in uh, bad shape and stuff like that. And you can see Sorry. that there are a lot of reports. Uh, let's see. Huh, yeah, finally the guys in Croatia did a map, but they had to manually enter uh, all the information. Uh, there was no automatic process so you can enter it, but you have to s had to send them the information, they had to process it and upload it. And but they did something. Uh, after, the, after the initial uh, start of those uh, Ushahidi platforms, they were using OpenStreetMap maps as a background to report, but uh, in some of those areas, the maps uh, were almost empty. Uh, because nobody, nobody uh, was from there and nobody had interest in uh, drawing those areas. So, uh, in, uh, in, corpor in cooperation with uh, humanitarian OpenStreetMap team, uh, we started uh, hmm, mapping action and uh, humanitarian deployment where we tried to gather all the people, <laughs> not all the people, but people from all over the world to help map uh, those aff uh, affected areas. We had, uh, from various sources, we, get, uh, we got where are the areas that are infected, uh, that are uh, endangered, so to say, and uh, created a task uh, which had to be mapped. As you can see, it covered, uh, it covered something like 13,000 kilometers, uh, square kilometers meters of Serbia uh, around 10 or 12, uh, 12 uh, 100 
12,000, thousand, sorry, thousand kilometers square uh, in Bosnia and about a thousand in Croatia uh, that are uh, that were affected. But we created a task that uh, had 29,000 thousand square kilometers. We had to map. So people started mapping. Uh, there are some partip participants here. Uh, and people started to map. They had an uh, area, uh, they logged in to the OpenStreetMap uh, uh, to the task server, they selected a square, it was around uh, kilometer by kilometer each square. No, sorry. Uh, no, it was 10 by 10 kilometer square. Something like that. It was, uh, so everybody had a, a lo large square to map and people started mapping. Uh, firstly, there were uh, pri priority areas uh, which, uh, which, were, which had to be mapped first because there were flood waves coming to those cities, so it was uh, dynamic and a lot of work was done. Uh, how many did you do in one day? Around four. Yeah, so people did uh, four squares. Uh, of around 10 kilometers, uh, 10 square kilometers uh, each square. So you mapped four, 40 square kilometers in one day. So there were no roads, there were no rivers, only ma major roads. After that, you had a map which almost had buildings mapped, uh, all, all the streets, all the creeks, all the waterways, all the bridges and stuff like that. And that's the power of, power of the community. Uh, uh, Matija, oh, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm Miroslav, yeah, sorry. Uh, would you mind coming here to, to say a few minute, minute or two to say, you, you were uh, in the first line of the process, process of uh, gathering information. Hello, my name is Miroslav, nickname is Mili, and in Ham Radio I'm Yankee Tango to Charlie Quebec. In uh, organization of ham radio, we uh, have in every city one radio club. And every radio club have about 20 members. In bigger city, in radio clubs are about 100 members in radio club. So when flooding start, we have organized our HF on high frequency network and VHF and UHF networks. Main uh, uh, no we have područje se najviše odigravalo. Ah, there was most, most traffic. Most traffic is on UHF because we have linked uh, repeaters network from North part of our country traveled to south. About 30 repeaters are linked. So everybody with hand talk press the button, one repeater, everybody hears in all country what he must, what he have told. So we collect information from uh, social networks, Facebook, Twitter, uh, I think LinkedIn, uh, we have also on the email traffic and all collected information we uh, give to country service like police, mountain rescue service, follow military. We follow the Shahidi, Port Poplave RS. Yes. Uh, yeah. They follow oh. Poplave RS, uh, the Shahidi deployment with uh, volunteer information also. Yes, and share our information with them. That's nice. So. Now we have uh, response in floods, uh, 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 snow, snow storm. snow, snow, storms, and just now our uh, work is to uh, connect, with, uh, connect with country service with uh, emergency sit situations. So. Yeah, it's. Uh, 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 just, just, just a second. Uh, what were your shifts uh, in the first few days of the floods? I uh, collect information from a uh, shift was, I don't, know, 12, 
hours, maybe 24 hours with my work. <laughs> yeah, people tried. Uh, thank you. Uh, I also didn't know. I also didn't know uh, how much they did. I, n I just followed him on social networks and, and saw uh, every hour, every time I, I connected to the to the network, I saw he, he's uh, on. Uh, uh, he's doing stuff. He's doing stuff. He's doing st stuff. I meant, guy, w when do you get some sleep? <laughs> uh, you wanted to ask something. system was that we, who, who sending information, name, surname, location, time, and, uh, and, and, and the story. yes, what he must, what he have to told us. And we send to our center, and they are sorting what is primary, secondary, and other stuff to send that we, uh, where we must to send that information. Is it for rescue crew, or is it for food, water, baby, uh, yes, that. Okay, uh, from our ham radio organization that we have about 30 peoples on Twitter, Facebook, on, uh, for, face uh, for Twitter we have hashtags RMZO, uh, Radio Amateurs, and Poplave, I think. And we are collecting their information and send to a center where it's sorting. So people in center know. Yes. That's it. So this was one. Uh sort of volunteer geographic information. Those people who uh, reported those stuff were really volunteers and didn't report it to the uh, 911, 112 and uh, those stuff, but to volunteers. From volunteers to volunteers who man managed to organize better than uh, official people. Uh, so also they also used uh, those portals that had uh, people uh, report stuff over the net. So uh, I w I'm doing OpenStreetMap since 2009. I know spatial data. I don't know lo lo local uh, areas. I don't know where it is uh, flooded, where, where, the ro ro uh, where the road is are broken. So I had people tell me where, where are the troubles and we started mapping. So. I can at least help in that way. They they will have all the maps for, for later. That's the way I could help in that uh, area. Uh, also, uh, the colleague of mine is doing an hmm, is it a PhD? Yeah, uh, uh, and he's analyzing uh, spatial data from crowdsource. And uh, it's interesting, uh, not in so interesting in the slide, but uh, when you know more information. Uh, we have authoritative data, like uh, real, real estate cadaster, like uh, public uh, services, uh, like roads. Uh, all the administrative authorities have all own sets of data. And uh, the colleague did a PhD comparing those data to crowdsource data. And he came to a conclusion that uh, with time the data gets more and more accurate and gets more and more information and uh, has more information to store than the authority data. Uh, when you take a look at it, uh, when you look at OpenStreetMap, it has a complete history, it has an author, it has every change from the start to, uh, to the current date. And when you look, I'm going to, how do you say, 
uh, talk bad about my field of work. Because when you look at the real estate cadastro and stuff like that, when, where they have uh, official records, this is your parcel, this is your uh, house, this is your piece of land, you don't know anybody, anything about the person who measured that, who did that. When you look at, like, look at Open Street Map, you have a record, uh, who, drew it, who drew it, who edited it, uh, when, and you have a comment why and stuff, and stuff like that. Uh, from which source? Is it a, a GPS data? Is it, a, is it a satellite imagery? Is it public uh, imagery? Is it local knowledge? Everything like that. And you can enter more information in, in it than in uh, official records. Uh, about the history. In Croatia, we have a one point that has uh, history uh, that has 270, 280 revisions. Uh, when you look at it, so somebody edited the same point over 200 times, and we find, uh, we find, I found out why. Because it's the, the it's the point on the map which represent represent the, the Republic of Croatia. So every time somebody added their own language for Croatia, they edited uh, the, the the point. So you ha we have the whole complete history. Uh, that's the additional data that is not stored in uh, official and proprietary data. Uh, there are new new measurements for a quality data uh, for da uh, quality of data. Uh, let's say uh, you want to get the data, but I want to filter all the buildings that are uh, which accurate which have accuracy or of, uh, of pl plus minus ten meters. You can get uh, also the data. You can filter out the data, you can do data analysis and stuff like that. Uh, there are also integration with, with, uh, integration with existing standa standards, OGC and stuff like that. And integration with authoritative data, which, which, extend, uh, which exists today. And you, you can do comparisons. Uh, in UK, I think they, they are uh, working together with a uh, few public uh, services uh, about bus lines and stuff like that. Uh, where they can edit, uh, people in OpenStreetMap get official data, look at it, edit it, and return it back, and of course, have it in OpenStreetMap so that there is a corporate, corporate, uh, cooperation. Uh, so let me see, okay, no, no, no. no. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, this is one part of the presentation. If you have uh, part, uh, if you have questions about this part, uh, ask now. Uh, in a minute or so, I'll switch to a real real time demonstration and more examples uh, of the data. So about this part, any questions? Okay. Uh, and now about OpenStreetMap. More. Uh, does anybody here? Uh, who knows about OpenStreetMap here? Ooh, nice to hear. Uh, who uses it? Who contributes? Nice, yeah, few people. Uh, uh, better than the last, uh, uh, in the, better than in, in the last conference. Uh, so, OpenStreetMap. Uh, you know how how it uh, started. I don't have to say that. But uh, did you know that uh, that this map is not everything? There is a lot more. So you have a map, you have a vector data, you have a vector data in real time you can use. Uh, do you know it has a 3D option? Well, let's load it and look at Novi Sad. We are, okay. My PC is a little slow. Okay, you can see it loading, and uh, this information is from few seconds to a day or so old. Uh, so you edit a height of a building, you edit a building shape, you can get it in 3D. Okay, uh, usually here is a a rotation pan and stuff like that, but 
Uh, this laptop is uh, seven or eight years old, so it, it uses, I use it for static presentations. This is too much for him. Uh, it, sorry. <laughs> no. So this is uh, uh, OpenWebGL. It sends the data to the browser. Browsers, re browser <coughs> renders it. On home PC, this, this runs like a well-oiled machine. Oh, and we have a something bad. Let's shut it down. It works. Trust me, it works. Uh, not on this machine. Uh, this is another example of 3D. Huh, two and a half D, if you want to say. Uh, when you zoom out, zoom in. I need to. I need to find a tall building. Okay, slow, 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 slow. And it's still slow. I know here. Here are some tall buildings. Just let me zoom in. Uh, why I say two, two and a half D? Because when you uh, when you pan left and right, you see the buildings moving, like in a real. View from nice stuff, uh, and the data is also a few seconds, minutes, hours old. Uh, the stuff I said about mapillary. Uh, whoa, people people are uh, mapping more and more. Uh, just the, 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 let me zoom into. The stuff I said about getting no, 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 wrong point. You see a track point on the side, but when I okay, wrong position. Okay. That's what I said. You zoom out and you get a picture overlap and you see something like a panoramic view. Not completely, but uh, if you travel uh, 10 times in the same route and collect the data and uh, on the road back, you also do that, you can almost get 360. Almost. But... What? Yes, this is crowdsource. Uh, uh, because uh, they use, uh, they have, huh, let's go. Uh, I asked them to come to Balkon, uh, to conference, but they said uh, they're busy in this period. They asked me, can you talk about it for a second? Okay, I'll talk about it for, for a few, few seconds. So it's crowdsourced crowdsource street level photos. Uh, and there is uh, Android. There is an app for, for Android, for iPhone, for, uh, for blah, 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 Microsoft OS, and I don't know how it's called. There is an app. You start it. It uh, starts GPS. You have, to ha you have to have accuracy under 15 meters for it to start recording. And uh, those are questionable photos. But those under uh, 10 meters are accepted uh, with no trouble. So you go collect pictures. They, uh, you upload, uh, there is, uh, each picture has unique U, uh, U, UID. And each se sequence has unique UID. So you get uh, sequence and uh, sequenced photos. Each photo has, uh, has, it, uh, has it, its, oh, sorry has its ID, each uh, from, and from the sequence, you, you can uh, get the orientation from the uh, photo, uh, the time, the accuracy, the precision, and stuff like that. Uh, it is in, uh, if you open the EXIF tag, you can see each picture has its own data, and they uh, get the, the, the data, position the pictures, and later they, uh, they use uh, picture co correlation to find corresponding uh, points in pictures. Yeah. So they, first you have to have, to have uh, it correctly positioned, orientated, so they can process it further. Uh, you upload the pictures, it's instantaneously in the, it's on, in that second, it's on its place, but in a day or two, it gets uh, proce processed, so it has reference points with other pictures. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, as I said, uh, they started this year. Exponential grow, growth, it's amazing. Uh, this is the map. Oh, is it? What? They changed the site in the last month. I didn't look at it in the last month. Uh, there is explanation how it works. I won't bother you with that. Uh, you like, hmm. and with OpenStreetMap, you can use the data and do whatever you want with it. Uh, if you obey the license. Licenses, I, you have to, to say it's OpenStreetMap data. Great. Uh, we had some people wanting, ah, we want to have a classic uh, bike and hike map uh, for our site. Okay, we, uh, we can make it, or you can use existing. Ah, oh, there is exi existing. I didn't find it on the site. Yes, there is only few. Oh, okay. So, ah, there was a navigation, but I forgot it was. <laughs> Uh, the Firefox uh, stayed uh, in the wrong, wrong resolution. Sorry. Uh, there is only a, s a certain set of layers on the main site, and they, people thought, oh, that's all it is. And then I have to explain them. Then, no, oh, there, there are a lot of uh, things. Uh, let's say open love map. Uh, Germans did it. OK, load. Uh, this is uh, bordel. This is sex shop. Uh, this is strip club. Uh, what is this? Uh, what is this? Condom automat. That's new. Uh, uh, I, s I sent a friend uh, a link to the wiki. There is a link on the, on the uh, OpenStreetMap wiki Wikipedia with, with all the map features you can map. And I said to him, look at this perversion. You can draw, every, uh, you can take anything you want. And in a half an hour, he returns, yeah, yeah, it's really, you can map anything. And he, he sent me a link uh, to a Swing Club and uh, FKK Beach. And, okay, I didn't know about that. Why did you look at it? Why did you search for it? Ah, it was funny. So I learn every day about the project, uh, what, can it, what can be done. So I'm in this for more than five years, and every day I learn something new. Uh, Okay, this, this is open love map, open fire map. The guys did it for uh, Olympics in Russia. Okay, I zoomed too much. Okay, it's somewhere like here. Yay. Okay. Ah. Uh, wait a second. Uh, da -da 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 -da. When you zoom in, you have a, a location of each fire hydrant uh, with its code, specification, and stuff like that. So there is also uh, how you can do it. Uh, I don't have an, uh, you, uh, uh, I don't know the name of the site. But in the Winter Olympics, uh, there was a stuff in, about Russia. Uh, they didn't like gays and stuff like that, uh, homosexuality. And the guys did uh, OpenStreetMap based map uh, with uh, a 3D model where you had each uh, contour in different color representing the gay flag. And they did it for Russia, and uh, it was a kind of provocation. Uh, I can find, try to find it. OSM. Okay, I type like a hippo. Uh, no, 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 no. No. I can't find it right now. Uh, what did I do? Wrong button. Uh, open. Uh, this is a night. What? <laughs> OK. 
Okay, open water. This is new to me. No, it's down. Uh, I don't know what they did. Uh, okay, I'll try to explain it. Uh, when you see uh, uh, OpenStreetMap is by, based on tail, uh, TMS, uh, Tile Mapping Service, and, we, and where uh, each images you have images uh, of uh, 256 pixels each, and open whatever map uses a, a random algorithm to uh, load each square from a different source. So you can see how many sources there are. Uh, and when you zoom in, zoom out, you get a, a crazy map. Uh, you follow the road and it switches from black and white to 3D to uh, 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 standard uh, mapnik to open cycle map to open topo map. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, it's cool to show, but it doesn't work. Why? Uh, open topo map. So, example of a topographic map. Uh, people are trying to, uh, people who are going on a, on a hikes and stuff like that, they ask, can we get a map of, of, of the mountains and stuff like that? Uh, the way we used it, like in topographic maps, one, uh, one to, to 25,000. Uh, yeah, you can get that. You can get this, uh, this map online and you can also get it offline. So, uh, yeah? Uh, you, can, huh, you can set it uh, as a background in a few applications and you can cache it. So you have a, a cache in, in the background. You can use it online. Uh, open topo. I don't know if you if you if, if you, you can't download. I want this region to take with me. Take it with me. But there are few uh, mobile phone applications that allow allow you to download vector maps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I <laughs> This is this will be uh, how do you say reklame. Yeah, this will be a commercial for, for one app. Uh, it has a paid version, but it's open source, and you can use the code, and you can compile it yourself, or you can download the nightly version, which is full version, and you can you, uh, get it from, from FDroid, which is open source, and you can, uh, there are a lot of sources you can, where you can get it. Uh, I use uh, OSM AND. Uh, I participated in the development, uh, but in uh, spatial, spatial uh, part of the development, I let them do the programming. I help them with uh, areas to download and stuff like that, uh, and to generate maps and stuff, uh, stuff like that. Uh, you get the app, download it. Uh, wait a second. OSM on the go. You 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 search for OSM and uh, nightly build, and let's see if my network connection works. And you get uh, OSM and nightly app occur, download it and start it. It's free, but it's not official from Google Play. But it works. Uh, and you are a beta tester for an uh, application, so if you get something that, that doesn't work, you can report it. Ah, your app, app doesn't work. And their site doesn't work. Uh, I use it I, uh, everywhere where you travel. You can download regions. Uh, they regenerate every 10 days. So every 10 days you have a new map. Anything that is entered in OpenStreetMap in, in a period of 10 days is on that map. Uh, I use it uh, I use it for not so much navigation, but for editing. There is a, you have to activate the plugin, OSM editing, and then you can directly enter points from your mobile phone to the map. And uh, but you can't see them on the map until you get the update in those 10 days. Uh, but you can also mark uh, bugs, uh, pardon, it's not bugs anymore, it's OpenStreetMap notes. So you edit, fun. <laughs> is it the network? Ah, it's a network. 
Okay. No, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was trying so hard that mm. stop leeching torrents. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I needed network for some extra stuff, but now they won't let me. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, um, any more questions? I can't show anything more because I need connection to the internet. Uh, but, okay, uh, I can show you on the phone later uh, how it looks. Uh, if you get, uh, there is a plugin for OSM1 which you have to pay, and then you have, a, uh, uh, you can, on your phone, you can download contours and you have a 3D map. Uh, the normal version only has a 2D map, but with the, that paid plugin, if you want. You don't have to pay. Uh, you can get uh, 3D views uh, and you see uh, shading and uh, contours, and it's fun. But uh, uh, that piece of software saved me when we were in England because uh, a friend of mine went to a neighboring country. F what? Let's see. Yay! Uh, nightly up and it works on your phone. You just have to disable a, a safe application or something like that. And uh, F Droid version is done by whole another another crew. Uh, the F Droid. Yeah, I think this one also has, has a tilt because uh, only on OSM, on uh, Google Play, you have a version 1.5, 1.6, 1.7. Uh, Nightly has tilt. Uh, uh, Nightly has also has tilt, and F-Droid also has tilt. I think so. Uh, uh, F-Droid, uh, dif the difference between this and F-Droid, uh, this is done by the OSM1 crew, uh, regenerated daily, nightly. And F-Droid, uh, uh, someone who de decided to port it, uh, not to port it, to compile it, it is uh, distributed as he gets time to download the north new source code, compile it, and upload it to F-Droid. Uh, Nightly is newer, but maybe buggier. F uh, the version of F-Droid, I think it uses... Uh, yeah, I think that, that F-Droid uses uh, stable versions, not, not nightly versions. I think it's stuff like that. I used, I used the versions of, on F-Droid, I used this. I tested free version, I tested, it works the same. Yeah, uh, the friend went to neighboring country only 10 kilometers uh, across the border. Uh, he lost uh, his uh, home network and he connected to the, uh, the, to the local network. He had OSM and, but he didn't download uh, the country. I said, him, uh, I said him the day before, I installed him uh, Croatia, and I installed him uh, the application, and said, if you ever go to another country, download the country. Oh yeah, I will do it, I will do it. He, he went outside, um, I don't know how to get there. I, oh, I have that application, I don't have the map. I'll use, uh, He'll enable uh, data roaming. He'll use Google Maps in that and data roaming. Uh, I think he, he had. Uh, he used it for a few minutes, and he got uh, 120 euros. Uh, <laughs> and his uh, wife had a higher limit, and he she got around 250 euros. Uh, so he learned: don't use data roaming. That was uh, before uh, the new data roaming uh, stuff and something like that, but this helps. Uh, okay. Uh, so. What, eight? Eight bit city. Uh, I saw somebody did. Uh, uh, eight 
bit and uh, oh there, there is an, another st uh, another thing uh, there is a project people did uh, entire map of UK in Minecraft uh, they used OpenStreetMap and transformed it to Minecraft and you can download it it's around 2 gigs gigabytes you can download it uh, start in Minecraft and you can walk in England okay it's scaled to a smaller uh, to a smaller size, but you, you, there is a map of England, UK, in Minecraft format. And I think it's... Yeah. Mm. Uh, I have uh, just one second. This one, this one. OSM. Let's see. Ooh. Uh, okay, loading, loading, loading. Okay. Uh, this is a half a minute video of what can be done in a, with few workshops. Uh, this is the city of Karlovac in Croatia, and. Uh, uh, it's low contrast, sorry. Uh, uh, in a few workshop, you get, we, we, we managed a few workshop in Karlovac, in a few, in, a, in one day, a half a city was mopped, mapped, and uh, people c uh, continued to map daily, and uh, for, do for that region, we still don't have satellite imagery. Uh, there is a map box imagery, but it's black and white and low resolution. But this was all done with people, uh, GPS devising, uh, devices, field papers, uh, and local knowledge. So, no satellite imagery, only GPS and paper. Uh, I forgot to say, uh, you can collect G uh, data for OpenStreetMap with anything you want. Uh, camera, GPS, uh, phone, paper, anything. So it's uh, unlike uh, Google, which is all in one pro uh, only one package. There is uh, OpenStreetMap is uh, evolving community and evol evolving project. There is also I forgot to say uh, open source routing machine that uses OpenStreetMap data. Uh, did you uh, did anyone try to connect? Uh, uh, how does how uh, Cape of Good Horn in South Africa to North Camp? Uh, the routing is done under a second. Uh, Gibraltar to Vladivostok routing is done under a second, and when you move uh, the route, it's also uh, simultane It's uh, instantaneously changes your route, so power power of the open source and the open data is expanding and great. Uh, okay, that was the picture. Uh, I don't want to bother you anymore because the last time I talked, we were in a smaller room and we started talking and we talked for three hours. So I won't do that. Uh, this is just a small uh, extract of the information you can get. Also in, uh, in Croatia, we have a server which extracts Huh. Currently, it's offline because uh, some stuff happened, migration and stuff like that, but it will be in, up online next week on the new servers, on uh, a tier 3 data center with a gigabit network and stuff like that. We got some servers, yay! Uh, also, OpenStreetMap has uh, tiles, uh, ZDN, tiles content, uh, content delivery network will, will be part of that uh, process. Uh, one of the servers is for CDN network. Uh, you can, we are doing daily extracts, <coughs> doing, we'll be doing again, daily extracts uh, for Croatia, Slovenia, Bosnia, Serbia, Albania, Montenegro, uh, Bulgaria, Romania, Hungary, for all the regions, uh, every country independently, all together, for classic OpenStreetMap, for Garmin devices, for OpenStreetMap, uh, uh, for OSM and uh, maps and stuff like that. And we are only uh, limited to those countries and to, to those uh, 
products because of uh, the server which was 2003 desktop, uh, which served the stuff, so we'll do much more now. Uh, there is a growing community, uh, there is a community in Serbia, there is a community in Croatia, there is a community in every country you visit. Uh, if you want, join them, uh, help, your, help uh, map your own country, or if you know more about uh, background stuff, uh, help manage servers, uh, help uh, deploy new stuff and enjoy. Uh, thank you very much. I hope I wasn't boring or repeating myself too much. I know something. Oh, 8 bit city. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It works, it works, it works. And the gods of the internet are against us. Ah! Ah, I saw that, yeah. Uh, it's all 8 bit city style. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, there is no Novisod. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. It works. Uh, it's fun. Uh, uh, if somebody started talking about OpenStreetMap and it, at all that it could, it would take him a few days, a few weeks. Um, I don't think even the admins and the guys who are in it uh, can tell you all about it because nobody now knows everything about it. Uh, thank you very much. If you have questions, come and get me. I'll be around the corner. Thank you. <laughs>